Hey everybody, Teresa Sigmund here. Thanks so much for joining me for today's blog because you are so in the right place to learn to choose, alter, or make the dance and skate dress of your dreams. Now, we are going to talk about this sassy little red number today. And um, what I mostly want to focus on is the red fringe. Fringe is a really fun, awesome way to accent a Latin dress, a country western dress, you know, if you're doing for two, something really unusual for two-step or for skate dresses. I love that skate dresses in the last five or so years have gotten really diverse to where fringe is totally acceptable, whereas 10 or 20 years ago, that would not have been a cool thing. They are so much fun. Because even if you're just moving the dress the tiniest little bit, you still get a lot of movement. If you are really rocking, you get tons of movement. It's fantastic. So fringe is a really great option, especially for new skaters or new dancers who don't have the speed in their spins or the quality of the movement where other skirts would look slow. Because you know, let's face it here, we're talking inertia because as you're, especially with dancing where we don't have the speed that skaters have, if we're a newcomer and we don't really have a lot of hip action, if you can get a skirt that makes you look like the hip, that you have hip action, it really enhances the look of your dancing. Likewise, for new skaters where you just don't have the speed, you're not going around the rink really fast, fringe that moves a whole lot with every little turn that you make can really sort of give the illusion of better quality movement than what you actually have. So that's one of the awesome things about fringe. This particular fringe is a nylon or rayon. For the most part, they're pretty much the same fabric. They're fabric, they're lightweight, they're highly durable. You can shape it as you can tell into any lines that you want. You could do a really clean line such as these pictures where everything goes on really nice and straight and linear. Or like with this red dress, you can do a haircut. <laughs> I call this a haircut because it's got so many layers and dimensions. It looks like, you know, a, a haircut. It's not just ink. Um, it's got all this texture to it, which is really fantastic. Um, if your fringe gets staticky, just take a can of static guard to it and just go go outside to do it because it stinks to high heavens, but just squirt the whole, spray the whole dress and you'll be good to go for quite a while before you have to spray it again. Um, the other really fun thing about um, rayon or nylon fringe is that it tickles. So if you're highly ticklish, you might want to avoid it because it feels kind of like little spiders <laughs> every time you walk because it's always, always moving. It does. It feels like little spiders on your legs. So if you are highly ticklish, eh, you might want to avoid it. Um, let's see what else. Once you have a dress, once you've either made your dresser, altered your dresser, you know what, if you find one online with a fringe, I don't recommend washing it. Now, technically, everything else on this dress that I made is washable, but the fringe will get very shredded on the bottom, and, and the, this little, it's like very tightly woven cords, essentially, and when it gets wet, it will start unraveling, and it'll stretch, and it'll get longer. So, washing is not necessarily the best option, so as far as maintenance on your dress goes, you can go in and spot clean, you know, all the little sweaty areas and still be okay without saturating your fringe. Um, if you do get some long stragglers, this is fantastic because you can just go in and snip off. This one would be hard to tell if you had any long stragglers, but say if I had a very straight, clean cut line and I had one strand that was starting to unravel and stuck down to here, I can just go in with my scissors, take a little fray check, glue it and go snip and just cut it right off and it'll be perfectly fine. So it's really highly versatile that way. Um, yeah, lightweight, durable, lots of movement, looks great pretty much under any condition. It's easy maintenance, easy to pack. Um, I kind of love fringe. 
and it comes in lots of colors. I have even given you links below this video on play where, places where you can get fringe both in the US and abroad. Um, you know, like Europe. <laughs> For us, that's abroad. <laughs> For some of you, this is local. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that is it. This is my little tutorial on rayon or nylon fringe. I, I think it is a super economical, worthwhile investment for you. And if you are considering buying, altering, or making your dress from scratch, keep this in mind because it's an awesome look and fits nicely into almost every budget. If you found value in today's video, I would love it if you told all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Don't sew alone, right? And also, please go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address so that I can make sure you never miss one of these blogs or any of these fun facts. Also, leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite thing about Fringe is. Maybe a comment about what's your favorite thing on this dress. And just tell me overall, have you used Fringe? What do you think of the tickle? Because it is kind of bizarre, isn't it? All right, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you because it helps me provide quality information that you want to hear. That's it for me for now. I will see you again another time. Thanks so much for tuning in.